Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to let our view application listen for JOM events that we can then use to trigger different methods defined in the application itself. While doing so, we are going to introduce the VON directive. Let's get started. Here we are in Visual Studio Code. As you can see, I've created a new folder for this lesson with a new HTML file and a new JS file. I've also opened up the file in the browser by copying its path. And one thing that we still need to do is to include in our HTML file, of course, a link to views CDN. In the previous lecture, we used the latest version link, this one, and this time we can use this other link instead, which will also provide us some useful error messages in the console. You can, however, check all the different builds available to find the best version for the project that you're currently working on. And of course, if you are in production mode, remember to use the minified version of the file. So I'm now going to just copy this link here, like so, and we can now start the development process. We said that the first thing that we need to do is to create a new view instance, which is the root of our view application. We can define a variable var application equals new view and to the view function we pass an object, the options object and inside the options object we can define all sorts of different properties. The first one that we need to define is L which stands for element and L expects a CSS selector referencing the HTML element where you want to mount your instance on. So in this case we can use an ID app and therefore we need to define an element we can use a div and inside this div we need to define id app we've also said that inside the options object another very important property is the data object and inside the data object we can define different properties to use within our application for example to show a value in our html page we can for example define lesson and here we can pass a string, events, and methods. And we can now use the value that is associated with lesson with text interpolation. So inside the div, I can, for example, define an h1 HTML tag. And here inside, I can use the mustache syntax to interpolate the text. So going back to our page, refresh, and here it is. Let's start talking about the new concepts for this lesson by defining, first of all, a counter variable, which we can initialize with zero. And of course, we can now show the value maybe inside an h3 tag, something like counter, like so. And if we refresh the page, of course, we get our counter. Let's say that we now wanted to increment the value of counter by pressing an HTML button. And here we can write increment plus plus. If you've got any proficiency with JavaScript, and of course you do, considering that you're watching an intermediate advanced level course, you know that in JavaScript you can perform different actions when different events occur. And considering that Vue is a JavaScript framework, we can use a directive, a Vue directive, v on, to listen for these DOM events in order to perform different actions. So in this case, we want, as we said, to increment the value of counter when button is pressed. Therefore, here we can define the v on directive colon. We know there is a DOM event called on click. Here in Vue, we can just use click. So v on colon click then we need to specify what kind of action we want to perform in this case increments the counter so counter plus equals one so let's refresh our page and if we now click on increment plus plus as you can see the value goes up you probably remember that using the vbind directive you can just use a short version by just using the colon like so and well, using vion, you can just delete the colon altogether and use the at. So the at symbol is basically a shortcut for vion colon, and then we add the event name. We are going to often use it later on, but for now, let's just use the vion directive itself. 
define the JavaScript code to execute when an event occur directly here in the HTML file is of course not the best solution possible, especially if you're planning on executing more than one line of code. And that's why you will most of the time want to define some methods inside your view instance. Defining methods is pretty easy. You can define a methods property and inside the methods property, of course, we can define all the methods that we want. For example, in this case, we can define increment counter like so. And in order to reference one of the variables inside the data object, we need to use this. So to increment counter inside data, we can use this dot counter plus equal one. Pretty easy. Of course, considering that we're using a method, we can define as much code as we want. For example, console.log this dot counter and also if this dot counter equals 10 alert counter is at 10. We can now just use the method name to execute it whenever the increment plus plus button is pressed. And notice also how there is no need to actually call the method. We can just assign it to the event. And so now going back to Chrome, we can refresh our page course increment plus plus and the counter goes up and you see we also get the alert counter is at 10 and when I press ok then it goes to 10 and clearly if you now check the development console we also see that all the different values of counter have been logged you see that we can also find a message from Vue.js and that's because of course we are using this specific development version Let's now make another example right away. I'm going to define to br tags and here another div with class equals box. We are now going to define the properties for this class. And we're also going to listen for the mouse over event. So I'm using the add symbol instead of v dash on. And notice also the name of the event, same as on click. The DOM event name is normally on mouse over. Here in Vue.js, just mouse over. And so let's say that on mouse over, we want to call a method, which we are going to define over the box. But let's define first some CSS properties for our box class. So here, style with box. And so background, we can set green width 300 pixel and height 300 pixel as well. So let's now define our over the box method. So like so over the box and we can just console log over the green box. So let's now go back to the browser once again, like so let's refresh our page. And it is, of course, our green box. And we can now over the box with the mouse. And you see, we're calling the method because we get over the green box. Two, three, four, five, and so on. So now that we're here, let's also check how to use the debugging tools provided by the extension that we've installed. You see, it's detecting Vue.js on this page, of course. We can now open the dev tools by clicking here and then view. And you see that here we have root, our instance, and clicking on it, we also get access to the data object. And of course, we can inspect the data, but we can also modify it, for example, increasing the counter. And you see the value, of course, is getting updated on the page as well. Okay, so that was it for this lesson about events and methods in Vue.js. See you in the next one, where we're going to talk about conditional rendering.